Guys, today it's finally time for the pa 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 pa. I gotta turn the music off. Sorry, boss. Pa pa. For the top five, top five drivers for men handicappers, you can see we got a boatload of drivers right here. Careful. <laughs> and you um, think I could break one for real? Don't. That's an expensive. That's a shaft upgrade. Don't. It is. It's a TR. Don't do it. But you think I could? Don't do it. Um, this is way too many drivers. When you're the consumer shopping for drivers, this is a hot mess. What the heck should you buy? We're narrowing it down to five and give you our five favorites. Let's go. Okay guys, don't forget, if you wanna get fit for any of these brands or you know what you wanna get on order, we do full shaft customization here as far as getting tips on different shafts, epoxying them. Let us know, give us a shout out, at, shoot us an email right here, info at embersgolf.com or you can shoot us a text. Trevor, myself, or somebody here on staff will get back to you to get you the right setup. Or come by our shop, come mm -hmm. get fitted. Sign up for fitting. Our new website's in development, so you can either do it at embersgolf.com currently or shoot us an email to get fit, scheduled for a fitting. Now when Trevor and I picked our top five, we laid these drivers out, spun around in a circle, and came back with our eyes closed and picked five, right? Yep, that's how we did it. No, false. False. Um, this video is late, so it's April mm -hmm. when we're shooting this, and the reason it took us so long is we wanted to deep dive into this test. So a lot of these we have actually hit out on a golf course. Yeah. We have all the individual reviews of these drivers. We you include the links below if you want crazy in-depth detail on each of these drivers. It takes a long time to play around with all of these drivers. It's a lot of drivers. And know them intimately. We can't rank a top five without knowing them intimately. Mm -hmm. So we, we got intimate. We did. We, we shared some good times and we shared some bad times with some these laughs, drivers. Some, some laughs, laughs and some, some anger. So the point of this video Can you just tell me the is going to be more of a shopper's guide. Mm. You know, we're, we're not experts, but we are amateurs. And so this is a top five for mid handicappers, which is our wheelhouse. So this is not a top five for low handicappers. We'll probably do another review on that. Or crazy high handicappers. So, so this, this is the top five gaming. for our bag, which is mid handicappers, which is the majority of the world. Which is the majority of golfers are gonna fit into this. So we laid them all out to illustrate that there's just too many options to market. In my yeah. opinion, that's one of my frustrations in the golf industry is there are way too many choices out there. Yeah. How and do so, you know? For example, on my barbecue channel, I feel like that's one of the things we do really well in the barbecue industry. There's way too many grills. I have spent the last 12, 15 years figuring out how to narrow it down to make an easy shopper's decision so you have four or five to choose from and can make it simple. We're basically applying that same principle to drivers. We're actually gonna hit a few. We're gonna roll some footage of us demoing all of these drivers itself, but we're not deep diving into crazy data. This is more of a generalization video of what you really need to be looking at and the strengths and weaknesses of different drivers. So okay, we so don't even have every, I wanted to go through it because we're missing some. Yeah, break down what we got. So we got two of the Cleveland drivers. Yep. We're showing three of the four AI smokes. We got all three Mizuno heads. We got one ping head, so we're missing some of the ping heads. We're limited with ping because of all the brands in golf they have an adamant refusal to work with us. We got three Zexio drivers, three TaylorMade drivers, four Cobra drivers, two PXG drivers, three, and finally to round it out, three Strixon drivers. So this is the lineup for 2024. Now that's not counting discounted Aerojets you can get, discounted Stealths you can get, Stealths 2s, uh, discounted Paradigms you can get. So really, when you think about it, we're at Oh, we're also missing four Titleist drivers. And the Wilson Dynapowers. And two Wilson Dynapowers, son of a gun. So we're missing like nine drivers. Now, the reason we're completely omitting Titleist out of this picture is one, I think it's really, really bad, and this is April, really bad time of year to buy Titleist drivers. We will probably see new Titleist drivers in the fall, so a few months yeah, away only. It's pretty cool. And pretty there's, close. There, I would assume in a couple months there's going to be a price drop on Titleist. We got 24 plus the nine we're missing. So you're talking 35 drivers. Just for this me? season. Just for this season? You kidding me? Stupid. Stupid. 
Okay, so let's start eliminating some. I'm gonna let you go first. What do you, what's the first one off the table that a mid handicapper should not be looking at? And if I absolutely hate your pick, I can put it back in. So I am eliminating the Prime, the Zexio Prime. Great driver. You're also eliminating the most expensive driver on the table. Yeah. The Zexio brand in general is for really lightweight, Conk seniors or guys with slower swing speed. So this is a below 90 driver swing speed, probably the best driver on the market for it. Yeah. But too specialty for this review. So exactly. it's gotta go. I would remove the Cobra Air X. So if you're looking at a Cobra Air X and you're just trying to figure out what that means, also a super lightweight club, draw bias, definitely designed for lighter weight, slower swing speeds. So I'm gonna take out the Zexio 13, right? That's yeah. what this guy is. The Zexio 13 for the same reason, is this one still just catered a little bit to um, maybe seniors, lady golfers, juniors, the um, slower swing speed. So now the last Zexio on the tab table is now gonna be creeping into this category, I think a little bit. Not saying that these drivers we pulled aren't mid handicappers, they're just the smaller pie of the pizza, right? Pie pizza of pie. the pizza? Like yeah. a pie and then a pizza if pie. If you're looking at a pie graph, the ones that need those really slow swing speeds in the mid handicap realm yeah, aren't the I majority. Just, I would say the Cleveland Launcher, which is a really, really fantastic driver, but I'm gonna keep the draw in the lineup because yeah. if you're in the Cleveland brand, you're probably gonna need the draw model. Yeah. So the regular Cleveland XL Launcher, I would take out. Not to mention the price on that bad boy. Yes, yeah, great screen. budget driver. That's probably our best driver on a budget. Can be Here hard to get it down to this five. This one's tough. Okay. I'm gonna take out the Srixon ZX7. Okay. Because I feel like all mid handicappers are gonna find a driver within the ZX5, that's the regular ZX5 or the ZX5 low spin, that'll do it for them. So I just don't a little think bit smaller ZX7. head, shiftable weights. So it's gonna be an adjustable Strixon driver. I would agree with you. I don't think we sold many of these. No. Just doesn't fit a lot of consumers. The ZX5 fits almost everybody. Yes. I'm gonna go with the Zexio X. It's still catered towards lighter weight swings, but to me, there's, it's a firmer club. There's a lot of carryover. There's too much carryover, and you're gonna save yourself some money getting the Cleveland launcher. So I would take out the last Zexio. So Zexio is off the table altogether here. I am gonna take out the STZ by Mizuno. Just again- Can't argue with you there. Because the X, if you're in a Mizuno driver and you're a mid handicapper, the Z, is probably not gonna be the one you fall into. You're gonna fall into the X model if you're after Mizuno. One, Mizuno's not really known for their woods. More draw bias. This driver. year they've done, a, well, it was last year because it's a two year model. Yeah. This is a great driver. But the Z is probably not fitting a mid handicapper. Probably my least favorite low spin driver of the year would be okay. the TaylorMade QI10 LS. Yep. So this is a big deal. The first TaylorMade is off the table, yep. literally off the table. Yep. Uh, great driver, but I think there's better, if you're after low spin, there's better ones out there. Yeah. Just my opinion. Yep, I agree. I am gonna do the same aspect as you, but I'm going to this end of the table and I'm taking out the triple D. That's like my favorite. Is it? My favorite low spin driver. It's well, out of all the low spin drivers, it probably could tease me the most. Nope, the second most Cut. out of this table. All right, so, so then you I'm gonna put it back you. on. You put it back I'm on. I'm gonna put it back on. So, so now it's back, back to my to turn. You okay. can take it out again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna that. put it back because okay. I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. Okay. I'm gonna take out the Srix on low spin. Srix on low spin? Yeah. Okay. The ZX5 is here to stay, I can tell you that right now. The regular ZX5. I'm not mad at that. Um, I did play around outdoors with the Srix on low spin. What'd you shoot? Like a 107. Mm, yeah. Okay. I think I had eight or nine out of bounds. Snap hooks, snap B, yeah. duck hooks. That, that can't have those. That's not the recipe to scoring. And I'll be honest, it was that driver. <laughs> so I'm not mad at that one. I am actually going to get rid of the Max D yeah. AI Smoke. Okay. Their draw bias driver for draw bias ones didn't do anything for me. I didn't like it. I don't like it. I, I, I'll get on board with that. Okay. This is hard because I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm also Trying speaking to for mid handicappers. So it's like the club that I would eliminate, I know would actually be pretty good for mid handicappers. So that yeah. means I have to rethink my, my options. Don't be here. selfish. 
in my opinion, mid handicappers, we're not talking to high handicappers, I'm gonna take out the max dark speed. Okay. So the X is what I played all season, okay. the Aerojet version. You putting it back? Putting it right back. Yeah, this, this is, and this is, I, doing a lot of these fittings, I'm gonna tell you why it's going back in. Okay. This is the best draw bias driver on the table with the shiftable weights. I've fitted a lot of clients shifting this. The dark speed didn't float my boat this year. No, it didn't either. And my least favorite dark speed is just the stock one. Yeah, because I, I, I would keep now, that low I, spin. I think you were thinking a little selfishly there. I think selfishly, it makes sense for you to get rid of the draw bias. Yeah. But the regular one, I know, but my my loyalty to the Aerojet from a great, a great yeah, last season. You still season. got two to choose from. I suppose that's true. Okay. Did I bully you into that decision? One's got to go no matter what, and this is not my top five, so I'm okay with it going. Okay. I'm um, vetoing whatever he chooses here. I'm vetoing just so he knows the feeling of having to find something it's different. It's got to be the Mizuno STX has got to go. And I know you don't like it enough to put it back. No, I don't. <laughs> I am going to take out... the regular black ops driver. I am gonna eliminate the regular black ops driver because if I was picking one of the two black ops, the tour wasn't punished. But that's for you, are you thinking about the audience? No. I like the tour better too myself. I like the tour better too. I didn't feel like it was punishing enough not to play the tour. I'm not gonna put it back, I'm not mad at it. For me, the next one to go would be the Cleveland Launcher XL2. Yeah. Great driver, really does a good job getting the ball in the air. And I think out of, if you're paying brand new pricing, it's the most affordable out of the bunch. So if you're on a budget and you are an easy swinger and you just need that ball to get up, this might be the driver. This is where it's gonna start getting controversial. I know it. See, I want one of the paradigms off the table but I can't take away the main one because that's what most people are going to fit into. I think it might be time to get rid of the triple. So the triple diamond was coming off the table this whole time? Yeah. Oh, well, it wasn't making the top five as a mid-handicapper. I'm just, just saying for a low spin driver, it's my second, no, third favorite low spin driver because the other two are still on the table. What's going on there? That grip's not on all the way. Um, it is a really, if you are in a low spin market, this is just a, just a treat. I'm gonna eliminate this guy and only because the max is just too dang good. It is. The regular QI-10 is gonna go. There's really, if you're a QI-10 cut client, there's really not a reason to not buy the max. I haven't found one yet. Same with Cobra at this point. At this point, at I think this it's point, fine. the low spin's gotta go. But, but I love, this is my favorite low spin driver of the year. It's my favorite Cobra driver for me, selfishly. Yeah, but for this the all of public, low spin, no. I think, is my favorite. It's really attractive. I love the shape, and we get three weights adjustable, so we can go fade, buy or heel biased or fade by. Let's try that again. Fade or draw. Fade or draw biased, and then we can shift a heavy weight in the back to make it more forgiving. Yeah. So even though it's a low spin, we can increase forgiveness with all this weight adjustability. This three weights is no joke. This is another controversial statement. I think there's five better drivers out there than the Ping 10 I agree 10K. too. So you're I okay with it? I personally think so. I'm gonna do it then. Call me by, say what you want. In my opinion, the reviews that we've seen on this, plus hitting it myself, it is very stable. It is not twisty. Um, in my opinion, the Max 10K is a better driver for better players. I think it's the most forgiving for like a low handicap guy. Yeah. Am I making sense there? Yeah. And this is just my opinion. My favorite driver that Ping has ever made was the G425. Yeah. If they fixed the sound, They've that's taken a perfect some driver. steps backwards. I didn't love that they just added through in a fourth driver. What about all the people last year that bought Ping Maxes? G430 Maxes. Now that's obsolete because they have the Max 10K. Right. I don't know, I just didn't understand the drop this year. But some people love this driver, but it's not in my top five. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Mizuno's gotta go. Yeah. Great driver, little thuddy still. And it's not that this is a bad driver, it's just these ones are better. Let's, let's tell them what we got. We got the Callaway AI Smoke Max. Max. Just their stock, their standard unit. Yep, we have the TaylorMade QI10 Max. 
So this is confusing though. So both use this word max. All three this of is their the most max. forgiving. Yes. This is the most forgiving model. This Ford is not Taylor the most forgiving. And Cobra. Yes, but not for Callaway. No, there's one more Max D. You gotta see that D. The Max D is more forgiving than the Callaway AI smoke. Then we have okay. the TaylorMade QI10 Max, the yep. most forgiving TaylorMade offers. We didn't see enough leap to go to the next step up. This one gave you all the forgiveness and the mm -hmm. speed. Then we went to the Cobra Max, which is the Cobra's most forgiving driver head. Then we have the 0311 Black Ops Tour. You heard me right, the Black Ops it's Tour. It's the only Tour head to make it in the top five. Yeah. And the Srixon ZX5, tried and true. This baby rolls. That's the top five. Okay, let's hit them, give some of the characteristics, things we like characteristics. and love Are we about at any each data driver. Or just, just feel. No, just we're going to talk feel a little bit. If you want data, you'll have to see it. So you're telling me we have video. a Srixon video, a PXG video, a Cobra video, a TaylorMade video, and a Smoke video? Yes. Wow, go watch it, guys. And uh, yeah, let's hit them. I've played with all of these outdoors, all five of these, and indoors. So we got we're building a brand new studio. This is our, gonna be our fitting bay. So this is gonna be for clients. This bay here. And then Tate and I are building. So it's a mess in here right now. Our own private fitting bay. We're trying to come up with a name for it. So if you guys have a good name, I was thinking something like the cave or something, but something more original. So it's gonna be our private fitting bay. And we got a little secret for you. This is Tate's wall. She's got a 20 foot wall. And I got a 20 foot wall and we're gonna fill it up with cool stuff. I'm not gonna tell you what, but. Stay tuned. Once this studio is done that Trevor just showed you and kind of described with some teasers in there, I challenge any other fitting studio that's on YouTube to this studio. Okay. I'm talking about good, good. I'm talking about- Rick Shields. Rick Shields. Rick Shields probably has the most famous one. I challenge Rick Shields studio to this studio. So stay tuned, it's gonna be bad. My walls, I'm probably, I'm a sneaker head. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yeah. yet. Shh. Okay, we have our top five. Trev, what do you wanna hit first? Um, maybe the Max. Which one? There's three. <laughs> Cobra Max. Okay. Let me just hit one and then I'll talk about it for a little bit. This is a high launching driver. I might need to throw a different shaft on it. This isn't my shaft anyway. Yeah, let's, let's get the shaft out of here. So what I love about Cobra is they feel great off the face. That was one of my favorite things about the Aerojet. I just didn't get on with the regular dark speed this year. <laughs> Getting Tate warm While up. you were talking that whole time is gonna be my, is my You're swing. Going, <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, YouTube. I'm over here getting my practice swings and not even paying attention, I'm mic'd up. Um, and I love the weight adjustability. The fact that we can put such a heavy weight in a draw bias position um, is great for a fitter. It's great for a client. And, and in their hosel settings, on their tip settings, they have a draw biased setting in here. So we get a ton of adjustability and forgiveness with the Cobra and it's fast. For a big head, it's fast. But they feel great. I would say one of my favorite things with Cobra is the way they feel. Yeah, they do feel really, really nice. Cream City, baby. Do it. No, I'm not gonna get there. Little spinny. I probably would hit the low spin. The low spin's my favorite of the bunch, but this is gonna suit people the most. Uh, I, I like the feel of the Cobra. Okay. I've liked it since day one, since the first day we tried it. It just feels really good. Yeah, off the face. Yeah, now Cobra probably had the biggest leap because the Aerojet, I think the Aerojet was my number one driver last year. So it's hard to repeat one to one with a new driver, but the dark speed's nice. It's a really nice driver. It's obviously top five. I think it's more geared towards those higher handicappers though. So even mid handicappers who really need help with their draw. Okay, I'm going on to the AI Smoke. Um, again, tough to beat last year. Paradigm was really good. Basically, claim to fame here is the Smart Face. 
So I noticed hitting this and playing with it, it definitely had less of a drop off on toe hits. So when I'm a little toey out here, it definitely will help you. But it's, it feels a little more thuddy to me. I don't like the feel of it off the face as good as the Cobra. Yeah. But I, that being said, I think the face is more forgiving. Sure. I'm not in love with it, but the results are great. I mean, that's 290. Yeah. I don't know, but we have some adjustability here, which is nice, but the feel and the address, just not my fave. Well, that's pretty good. That's the one and only I need to hit with this. 313 with a 6X black. Oh, you hit it, it with feels, my shaft. It feels really good. It's like Trevor said, it's not as soft and smooth as the Cobra, but it gets the job done. I think it's a little more forgiving. Though. And I love the ease of changing the weights. The Cobra has a little bit more adjustability with three weights. Actually, this has the two weights, the one in the front and this. Great driver, great driver. Okay, QI-10 Max. Yep. Taylor made. Now I'm just gonna tell you, this is one of my favorite drivers I've ever hit. Ever. Ever. So, not letting the cat out of the bag on the top five, but I already know, I don't need to hit much of this to know I like it. Um, the best feeling driver off the face, the carbon feel. Definitely very attractive feeling. It's right? like, uh, yeah, it's very, um, what's the word, nulled? Like it's like a deep thud. Best sounding? Yes. Feels that fantastic. carbon face, feels great. Enough said, right? Yeah, and all, all of those were wouldn't miss way off the face. And that's 280 down the middle. A little pulled, but uh, there's only two words to describe that drive, Trev. Cream City. Cream City. 319, all right, you only need one shot. That's all you need 320. With that. Okay. I think it's that Belcour Plus. <laughs> the X factor of the bunch has got to be, the surprise of the bunch has to be the Black Ops Tour. Yeah. Making it. So two reasons. <clears throat> the AMF technology on this face, it probably next to the TaylorMade feels the best off of the face. And I think. there is not another Tour Club or a low spin club that combines speed and forgiveness like that club. And full adjustability. So we got perimeter heavy weight in the back and then we can toggle weights here for draw or fade biased. So a ton of flexibility there. Looks great, sounds great, feels great, and it's gonna go Cream City. What'd I say? You called it. What'd I say? And it's the fastest, 106 miles an hour. Hold my poodle. There you go, cream. Boom, I, just for funsies, I got it. No, you do. don't get to, you just called me off after 320. Okay, okay, okay. all right. I, go ahead, right. go ahead. I can all tell right. you're all ramped up. Go ahead, nature boy. All right. <laughs> you don't get to backhand my bare chest. Come on. That's two in a row, holy crap. <laughs> okay, let's see how it does for me. I'm not a black, of a Ventus 6X black guy, but that Callaway, it, Worked out well. It's a little low stinger. Yeah. Give me your feedback of what you like about it. It's straight, it's a straight club. Yes. For a low spinning club head, you can hit this almost anywhere on the face and it's not gonna be OB. Usually with a low spin or a tour head, you're losing a lot of balls with miss hits, not the black ops. Feels yeah. great. Okay, now it's time for Strixie. Now Strixon, I'm gonna say, is by far, and it's not close, the most underrated driver of the bunch. The biggest sleeper. Right? Yep. This driver is a top five driver. It might even be more than that. And people sleep on it and it's well priced. It's like $100 less than the competition. Yeah. And watch what it can do. I'm watching. I mean, you don't wanna sleep on that. You don't wanna sleep on that. That's what I've been saying this whole time. 106 mile club head speed, that's on the green from 300 yards. Don't sleep on Strixon, baby. I only need one with this, Tate. That's all I need. 
I always hit the center of the club face with this club. Something about it. See, you're not mad at that driver either. No. It's that same thing every time. Every time. Just, it's very predictable. That club head is very predictable. 290 with that big of a fade. And it's no 300, but. Now here are the top five in no particular order. This is the top five. The question is, is how will these be arranged? And do we have the same arrangement? That's the question. Okay, you want me to go first? I'm gonna eliminate, I'm gonna rank number five. Okay. AI smoke is rank number five for me. Yep. And the reason is I think the smart face is improved and it is more forgiving. I just think these four are better. Yeah. And I don't love the feel off the face. Yeah. And that's not, it's still the top five. You saw what yes, drivers we eliminated. still a great driver. You saw the drivers we eliminated. Top five is still a huge feat. Yes. Okay, from there. Number four for me. I don't disagree with you. All, the only thing I'll say is a lot of people are going to end up in this driver yeah. due to the shiftability of weights. Yeah, the Cobra Dark Speed is what I grabbed. I'm sorry, I didn't yes. say it. So I would agree with you, Cobra Dark Speed is number four. Um, the Aerojet last year was ranked number one for Hit Tate and number two for me. Yeah. So a little bit of a drop off this year, yeah. but still a crowd pleaser. But it's just Great like driver. I said, you go from number one it's hard to make us another driver that's gonna also be number one. Okay, this is hard now. It is hard. Because I would I would have no problem. These I'd kind of think about. You can put any three of these in my bag and I'd be happy. Yeah. I'm gonna go the Block Ops Tour number three. Yep, that's what I was gonna and do. And the only reason, there's so much I like about it, I love the adjustable weighting. Mm -hmm. And even the regular one, same characteristics. This sounds better and feels better than the Strixon to me. Mm -hmm. But the Strixon is just too straight. Yeah. So I'm only ranking the Strixon higher than this because it's too straight. It is unreal this how is straight though. the Strixon is. It's so unbelievably straight, it's not even funny. If the Strixon didn't exist, this would be ranked higher. Yeah. <laughs> but this is faster than the Strixon. If, you're, if you got a need for speed, go this. But most of us mid-handicappers, I'm looking for predictability yep. and straightness. So I'm gonna go, the Black Ops Tour number three. Do we but it's my favorite tour head. It's my number one tour head out of yep. everything we tested. That's gonna be the Strixon number four. Strixon number two for you? Number two, yes, sorry. Number two. So this is where I'm really, really struggling with this. Tell me. I would normally agree with you, and I'm not saying I disagree with you. Um, but I can tell there's you're fighting something on the inside. Yes. Let's get that out, let's get that on the open. Don't hold that kind of stuff in. Yeah, I, I'm like trying to decide if I'm gonna be a Jedi or, yeah, or Lord Sith, Sith Lord, Sith Lord, Lord Sith. What am I an idiot? Here's my problem. So I've watched Tate all last year play the Cobra Aerojet. Yep. Right. Baby fade, buttercut fade, completely eliminates the left side of the fairway. Yeah. Predictable buttercut fade. What was funny is you switched to the Srixon for like two months. Yeah. Or a month. Mm-hmm. And as soon as you switch to the Strixon, no butter cut fade. No. Everything was bullets, like literally dead straight. Yeah. It did not move. No. So that's why I'm inclined to rank this higher because I've seen it with my own eyes. This On driver. On yourself and others. And, and you specifically. Yeah. This driver literally move you to no movement off the tee. Yeah. Literally dead straight. Yeah. And for me, that's the number one component I'm looking for with a driver. I believe you. Now that's not obviously, it's not perfectly straight every single time, but. So I would agree rules. with you. I'm gonna go QI 10 Max number one, just because it's not, Strixon is my favorite driver, personally for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with this because I think this will be a broader appeal to the general masses. Yes. And will fit more people. It's a bigger head. Much bigger um, head. That's the biggest downfall sound, to it is it's big. It does sound better than the Strixon. It does. Feels better off the face than Strixon. But it's not as I think straight. It's more attractive than the Strixon. It's not as straight, but it's darn near close. It's so forgiving, very forgiving. And believe it or not, you'd think TaylorMade would be a faster club head, and the regular one is, but the Max isn't. So in my testing in here, I'm hitting these about the same speed. Yeah. But boy, it's tough. So the top five, right between us, we go number five, the Callaway AI Smoke Max. So their middle driver. 
Number four, the Cobra Dark Speed Max, their most forgiving driver. Number three, the PXG Tour Head Black Ops. You heard us right, the Tour Black Ops. Number two, the Srixon ZX5. And number one, the QI10 by TaylorMade Max model. There's your 24 lineup. Let us know in the comment section if you agree or disagree. Here's a little fun game. Why. Give us your top five. A lot of you guys do a lot of diligent testing too. In the comment section, rank your top five. We'd love to see it. See you guys next time.